Hello, my name is Tracy Fox, Chief Revenue Officer for BotDot. And now that the smoke is cleared, COVID is over for the most part. There's a lot of companies, a lot of banks, a lot of financial institutes that are now circling back going, hey, what is our digital strategy? What does our roadmap look like? Where are we going with this digital revolution that's taking place? Not everyone's asking this question, but they're asking all the questions that point to this one, which is this. Hey, how do I transact business just as it, remotely, just as if, and just as easily as if that customer was sitting right here at my desk. So before we get to bot doc, let's talk about the consumer. 89% of companies are competing primarily on the basis of the customer experience. Ask anyone that's used Amazon and they'll tell you, hey, I know myself, I'm pretty frugal, but at the end of the day, I'll pay a couple extra bucks knowing that I have a reproducible process. People are choosing the experience over the product and the price itself. Bain went on to say this, that 80% of these companies we're delivering this super awesome, wonderful, over-the-top experience. That's the company speaking, by the way, these banks, financial institutes, healthcare organizations, et cetera. But only 8% of their customers actually agree. There's a 72% disconnect, and this is why. These, these technologies to communicate and transact business fall into three buckets, secure FTP and or fax, secure email, or portals, storage, or apps. Again, all of these logos on your screen and all of these technologies are doable, but they all add friction to the process. It's a broken journey. Hey, I need your license just to identify you. So I'm going to send you a secure email and you have to set up a secure email account. Hey, now I'm going to send you an agreement to sign. Hey, you're going to get a separate email over here and you can sign that. Hey, now I have all of your records for you, but you need to set up an account inside of our portal. And now you can download those inside of our system. Again, it creates a fragmented, broken journey that's just not uh, frictionless or seamless. So you add in cybercrime and um, you have even a bigger issue. Um, I know I could, I could throw numbers at you all day long, but the one that stands out to me the most is this. Cybercrime now is more profitable than all of the illegal drug trade globally. That's a big number and, uh, and kind of hit me between the eyes when I first heard it. It's one of our biggest issues today, and it'll be one of our biggest issues, big, biggest issues a decade from now, and one of our greatest challenges. Even the FBI reported a 1,400% increase in cyber attacks since COVID started, and imagine that, it's, uh, it's not going away. So herein lies the problem. When we add security to something and we drive security up, convenience factors are driven down. Everyone smiles at this slide because they're like, this is my daily, if not we weekly, if not daily battle. The security side of the house says, hey, it's my butt if we get breached. The operational side says, listen, I get it. But if we make it any harder to do business, we're not going to have customers to do business with. So unfortunately, we see this. Banks and financial institutes decreasing security in order to increase convenience. We don't want to admit it, but everyone's finding unsecure technical workarounds. Hey, I know you're locked out of our system. I know you forgot your PIN or your password. Hey, just send me that picture of your pay stub or the, your license or that W-2 on my uh, via text or uh, via e unsecure email. Again, we're giving into risk, but it's unacceptable because it comes at the cost of the consumer's data. So this is what BotDoc did. We broke the seesaw. We're delivering the highest levels of security and the highest levels of convenience. So rather than just talk about BotDoc, what I thought we'd do is do an actual live demo. Now this on the left is our SaaS-based tool. We also have an API. This SaaS-based tool is what the customer would be using, you at the bank, and I'll be the banker today. And on the right-hand side, my phone is mirrored. That's me, the consumer. That's me, uh, the customer, the banking customer. Again, this is where we started uh, years ago with the ability to, to reach out and grab something from somebody via text or email. Again, I could do this via text or email, and I say, hey, um, I need these three things from you, um, and I hit request, 
they get a text and an email, um, and they 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 upload their pictures and send them back to the system of of record here that requested them. Now on the right hand side, I could do the same thing, and in the same fashion, I could set, put in an email and or mobile number. System's a little slow today there, there you go. And I could do the same thing. Hey, here's your deal jacket, you know, you know, for your records. And so again, this is the ability to actually send something out to them. I could attach a file and, uh, and move forward from there. And then there's a place for two-step authentication because we're actually sending PII out. Again, this is where we started. We also have what's called a personal URL, which is, a email, is a link inside of your email signature block that allows on normal unsecured email for the other party to the customer or the end user to click on that and send you documents in the same way that I just explained. But through thousands of touch points of feedback from banks and financial institutes just like yours, they, they, they gave us this feedback. They said, listen, if you can push or pull separately, why can't you push and pull in the same session? We're like, that's a great idea. And they said, well, if you can do that, why can't you uh, e-sign? Why can't you chat? Why can't you collect payments? Why can't you do live video, ID proofing, OCR, form fill, application fill, etc. So that's exactly what we did. We created what's called P2. This is a container that allows you to do all of that inside the same container. I'm going to go ahead and put my information in here. Again, this is me at the bank. So this would be your user experience on our SaaS-based tool. Bot doc now, and I say, hey, let's get the process started. And I have a place for a subject line here. I'll just put ICBA rocks because they do. And then I'll just, uh, in the body of the email, you could write whatever message uh, you wanted to. I'll say, hey, hi, Tracy, uh, and me, the customer, right? On the right-hand side of my phone. And there is a place for two-step authentication. I'm just going to uncheck that for the sake of time today. So again, I send that out. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see on my phone, I can go ahead and pick that up via text. Again, this is all customizable. Uh, this would say Tracy Fox from ABC Bank is reaching out to start your loan, whatever language you wanted to put in there. Again, I could say, hey, hi, and I could communicate with the bank, as you can see on the left hand over at the bank here. I could say, hey, I need some things from you. And that sign goes over and I just say, hey, what? And, uh, and then we start the process. We get to this point where we could share, secure, we could see, uh, share social security numbers here if we wanted to as well, because this uh, chat session is also secure and encrypted. But eventually I get to this place where I need some things from you. Could be a number of things. I'm just gonna uh, grab something really quick. Hey, please send me a pic of your ID. And I create a module for that. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see that pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add files, take picture or use photo. I'm go ahead and take a picture of my business card. That's my ID for today. And I'm gonna hit send. As you can see that traveled from my phone back into the system, it said in progress before, and now it actually says complete. We have a lot of metadata in the background, time and day stamps, when things were opened, when they were closed, uh, that long geographic location, et cetera. All the metadata is available in the background here. All that's cool, but here is what just happened between me, the customer, and the bank was end-to-end -end encryption. Now, we always ask a few questions. I didn't need to download software, download an app, didn't need to enter a PIN or a password or set up an account to some system I've never used before and probably won't ever use again. Furthermore, if I look, Go, go and look at my photo camera history, that photo does not reside on my phone. That's because this is a uniquely identified container just for this job or just for this task. It's actually disposable by design. So thirdly and most important is this, is that that picture now resides in one place on planet Earth. It's not on my phone. And as soon as it was delivered back into this system, it confirms receipt of delivery with 
um, our API, and it's already been chalked up to be overwritten and deleted. So just wanted to make some of those security uh, uh, high points or, or uh, not notifications uh, to, to let you know that. We have a lot of banking customers on our bot.now product, the one that you just experienced on the demo earlier. Obviously, we're a PSP partner with ICBA and have a lot of different uh, bank logos, hundreds of banks uh, across the country using BotDoc. We also have a lot of API customers. Some of the largest systems, Salesforce, the largest CRM in the world, Epic, the largest electronic medical record system in the world, Ally Financial, the uh, Fortune 300 Financial Institute, Edward Jones, and the list goes on. Again, this is BotDoc. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to take the consumer journey to the next level, not only with end-to-end -end encryption, but making it ridiculously easy for your customers to engage with you and transact business, look into BotDoc. As a final note, on the bottom right corner, there's a live interactive demo that you can do. If you scan this QR code, it'll give you a couple different demos, one for healthcare, one for financial, it's a loan, one for insurance, and another one for a test drive in the car, uh, in the auto industry. So again, go on, click that uh, QR code and uh, demo away. Take care. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate it.